Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on chorioamnionitis. Chorioamnionitis is an acute clinical infection of the amniotic fluid and the intrauterine contents. The risk factors are prolonged rupture of membranes, which is more than 18 hours, internal fetal monitoring, frequent vaginal examination during labour, and also if there is a coexistence of bacterial vaginosis. These factors will increase the risk of the mother having chorioamnionitis. The root of infection can be due to ascending infection from a lower genital tract, or it can be transplacental hematogenous spread secondary to maternal bacteremia, so spread through the blood. And it can also be iatrogenic, which is infection after procedures done in wood. The common organisms for chorioamnionitis are polybacterial, which consists of facultative and anaerobic organisms. And the most common organisms that cause chorioamnionitis are Escherichia coli and Group B streptococcus. The clinical features. So to diagnose chorioamnionitis, it is mainly a clinical diagnosis. And the symptoms, it can range from asymptomatic, where the mother has no symptoms, up to a ill mother and also toxic with shock. And the signs are maternal tachycardia, which is around 100, more than 120 beats per minute, fetal tachycardia, around 160 to 180 beats per minute, uterine tenderness on physical examination, and also uterine irritability. Check the vaginal discharge, whether there is foul smelling vaginal discharge or foul smelling liquor, leaking liquor, and also the vital signs will show maternal fever. So the investigations that we can do are full blood count to look for leukocytosis, which suggests for infection. High vaginal swab can be done for culture and sensitivity to find out the causative organism. Amniotic fluid analysis, which can be sent for culture and sensitivity, check the glucose concentration and also look for amniotic fluid esterase. Ultrasound can be done to check the biophysical profile of the fetus. For management of chorioamnionitis, the definitive management is immediate delivery under antibiotic cover. So for the antibiotics, we give antibiotic cover once we suspect for chorioamnionitis. And in the postpartum period, after the delivery, mother should be covered with at least 3 doses of intravenous antibiotics and the oral antibiotics should be continued for at least 10 days. So the antibiotic of choice uh, cefroxim and also metronidazole. Whereas the mode of delivery, the preferred mode of delivery is vaginal delivery. However, if the patient has poor progress or developed fetal distress, then we should opt for operative delivery, such as C-section. These are the possible complications of chorioamnionitis. For the mother, there might be maternal bacteremia, increased risk of dysfunctional labor, C-section, and poor perosepsis, and also uteral placental bleeding or placental eruption may occur. Whereas the fetal complications are increased perinatal mortality and increased risk of respiratory distress syndrome, intraventricular hemorrhage, and also neonatal sepsis. That's all for this video. Thank you.